right, guys, we have another UPC. We had the 151 UPC. We had the Charizard UPC. We had the Celebrations UPC all going to the moon. What's up, little pups? Today, we're going to talk about the Greninja and the newly revealed Stellar Crown Terra Pagos UPC, which, um, honestly, both of these UPCs, I had... I honestly didn't even know the Greninja was a thing. I knew the Stellar Crown one was going to be a thing. And then the Greninja came out and revealed everything afterwards, but before the Stellar Crown revealed its own promos. So I was actually just kidding about the, <laughs> you, all UPCs going to the moon. Uh, surprisingly, Pokemon has decided to make the worst UPCs to man. Uh... Kind of just ironic for the evolving the evolution concept of Pokemon because it lo really looks like we're devolving. Anyways, guys, let's see the n old news, which is the Greninja EX UPC, which has the Paldea Evolved packs. It has pa four Paradox Rift. It has three Temporal Forces, three Twilight Mas Tw Masquerade, and two Stellar Crown Booster packs. I will admit the box looks amazing. The playmat looks pretty nice I, I would use it and the promos are what so one of the greninjas you see here is going to be a metal card but let me be honest the greninja ex the special thing about it is a special illustration <laughs> rare honestly i was thinking about even playing with a greninja ex deck I really was, but then I felt like the Special Illustration Rare was the only card I really wanted to play with. And guess what? The Special Illustration Rare is, uh, is like almost $300 a copy, and you need like at least three copies to make a deck out of a card like that. And uh, then I decided that the regular and the full art versions just were not good looking enough. Even though Greninja is literally a fan favorite Pokemon, I am just not a huge fan of the regular and the full art versions. The Special Illustration Rare versions though, I would die for. So guys, definitely don't pay MSRP for something like this. It definitely will not be a top tier product investment thing. It'll be a great opening, and I wouldn't even pay MSRP to open it just for fun. I would wait until this thing drops to like what 151 dropped or even less because no one's going to want to open this. Uh, probably to like 75 maybe $80. Maybe we'll see it at those prices. I would definitely buy a copy for because for collection purposes. Let's stop clobbering this Greninja EX UPC. Let's go into the actual news, which is the Terra Pagos EX UPC, which just got announced. Now, the promos, apparently, we had already gotten confirmation since August, early August, that we were going to get in Cinderace, a Lapras, and a Terra Pagos EX promo set for the UPC. Lapras, why did you not get an SIR? What the heck? But anyways, um, the Terra Pagos is going to have those, but we didn't know what rarity. And apparently, we're going to get treated nicely because the gold versions of Cinderace and Lapras are going to be in this product and the Fuller Terra Pagos. Now, the Fuller Terra Pagos was in Solar Miracle, so that's not really the treat, although it is a really good card. The real treat is that we're getting Cinderace and Lapras as gold cards, which apparently we did not get in the Stellar Miracle set. We got the Full Art Lapras and the regular EX Lapras and Cinderace. So that's the actual good news about that. Honestly, at this point with those promos, I know those aren't special illustration rares. Pro those probably aren't even going to go for that much. The Lapras I do really like. Like I was saying, honestly, even with that, knowing that, I still like this more than the Greninja, to be honest. I still like this one more than the Greninja. The Greninja is just so sad, man. With three regular EX promo cards, like, we're actually getting something unique. Like, we haven't even gotten this in Japan. And honestly, the, the playmat is even more gorgeous. And the pack selection is, personally, I prefer it more. Even though it doesn't have Paldea Evolved, it does have one more pack of Twilight Mastery, one more chance for the highest valued card in all Scarlet Violet. And uh, also four Stellar Crown packs uh, compared to three, which I mean, uh, I, I already said Stellar Crown is a mid set compared to all the other Scar Violet sets. But uh, anyways, I still would not pay MSRP for this product because the promos are unique, but they're not something that 
gonna people are gonna go crazy for so what made the other upc special well in the case of celebrations uh i guess the supply was just not enough for the demand of the product the pikachu and the charizard gold cards are I, I, they're literally reprints of the base set ones and in gold version like you cannot get a gold plated card official gold plated metal card like that well, it's not really gold but a metal card like that and then the, the Charizard one has three really good re alternate art type of promo Charizard cards, which you don't get anywhere else. Charizard, of course, I, I mean, it just speaks for itself, honestly. And then the U151 UPC, literally the most popular set right now. Honestly, I think it trumps Evolving Skies as of right now in popularity. It's even with all the restocks that we've had and all the restocks that I think we're going to have of 151, I do not think Pokemon is done restocking or uh, reprinting this set. I think this set is going to be printed to absolute oblivion, although Pokemon is like acting weirdly about it. The 151 popularity is pretty much the reason why the UPC is doing so great right now. <sighs> Unfortunately, the Terrapagos and the Greninja are not going to have those same benefits. So I would definitely pick up a copy of each. Though the Terrapagos box, I am not a fan of. I am way more of a fan of the contents inside of the box, but I'm not that much of a huge fan of the box itself. The Greninja, though, I would love to have as a display collection piece. But anyways, though, pups, what do you guys think about this product? Are you going to get one for yourself? Again, I would suggest you wait until the price you know, you find it at like a clearance sale or something because it will go for clearance. I assure you that for such an expensive product with, you know, mid type of uh, promo cards, uh, definitely will be a clearance item, but a cool clearance item. I hope you all learned something today. I uh, hope you this was the first channel you learned about the Terrapagos revealed promo cards because I am going to upload this as quickly as I can. And uh, I appreciate y'all and have a great one. Subscribe and let's get on to the next news.